Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up clients portals on monday.com now the first thing you want to do is to have access to monday and you can do that either from your app store or you can simply get it via the web by simply typing in www.monday.com and you'll be redirected to on-screen prompts so you can have your account all set up and you can also have access to your amazing homepage like you can see right now now how exactly do you want to set up client portals on monday.com let's head straight into it now the first thing you want to do is to determine the purpose and content of your client's portal. If I don't use it for document sharing, do you want to use it for project updates? Do you want to use it for communication hub? Whatever, whatever. You just ensure that the purpose is actually very defined. And as soon as you're done with that, you want to create a new board dedicated specially to the client's portal, or you can simply select an existing one. Okay. So for you to create a new board, you just head straight to the left hand side of your screen and simply type on the tap on the plus icon right there and you'll be redirected to where you can have your new board created you can see that right there um new projects new portfolio new board new documents you can just click on new board and you'll be redirected to how you can create your board so as soon as you're done with that you just simply um, create it and name it um client portals on money.com so let's just let's just do let's just do that um let's just create a new board and just simply on that board and name it client portals here yeah, and you have that all set up and underneath this this helps to show you the privacy of this particular board do you want to be visible to everyone in your account do you want to keep it for working private only for those selected team members you want to make it shareable you can have all of that um sorted out there and you just simply click on the create board and your board is created now as soon as you do that the next thing you want to do is to customize your columns you understand and the sections to organize content effectively you want to um customize it you can see on this place um right here and this the plus icon here you can add as many columns as you as you want just to customize it and just section to organize your content more effectively you can add your files you update discussions feedback what have you now as soon as you're done with that the next thing you want to do is to set up access permissions to ensure only authorized clients can view or interact with the product you think you can see from the last um step we have before coming here you can see other methods you can see the privacy of of the board yes you just have to go there and ensure that only those persons who you want to be in this board who you want to have access to this board are the ones who are having access with it the next thing you want to do is to populate the board with relevant information documents updates and resources for your client you can see add items you just keep adding them and you can just keep adding them and just keep adding them to ensure that all that you need is right there you can communicate also with your clients about the availability and usage of the portal you can simply invite as many persons as you want to you can see it right here you can see it right at the top right corner of the screen you can see invite people you just have to click on that and you have where you can invite as many people to this portal and you have it all all set up so contains consistently and continuously just update and maintain the client portal to provide value and enhance your clients um such as satisfaction and all of that so ensure that it's all set up and just come back here to always ensure that everything is up to date and is filled with so much value so this is exactly how you can set up client portals on monday.com trust you got value from this video thank you so much for watching